Hey everyone, what's up? My name is Noah, and welcome back to Minecraft Survival version 1.14. Uh, I'm doing some mining uh, down in the caves and everything. I was mainly hunting for diamonds, and I was able to find some in this area over here. There is a strip mine that I have that I continued on, but I uh, found some caves, and I was able to find this. Uh, I found an 8 stack, which is nice. There was actually one right here, but while I was mining out the side, I accidentally mined it. So... Ooh, that's almost done. We gotta go back. So we're gonna get my fortune pick out and see what we get. Give it to me. Seven. How many did we get? Fifteen. So we got double. Not too shabby. That's the wrong pickaxe. Need to use silk touch on that. Alright, so we're just gonna continue down here for right now and see if we can find any more or just find something interesting uh... when we do go up though i'm going to be continuing to uh... improve some stuff uh... improve my armor specifically because uh... there's actually a couple things on my diamond armor that i am missing so i want to do that uh... also on my way back from the stronghold you guys are not going to believe what i found oh wow i actually haven't been this far yet i actually was able to the village on the way back I was able to find uh, we put a bed down for the uh, for the um, uh, villager the librarian area and he did take the job as a librarian but uh, it wasn't any good books so I kept switching it back and forth back and forth and what do you know I was able to get him to get to have mending so we are going to go head back to uh, that village and we're going to get some mending books. And uh, just so I don't have to travel all the way back to uh, walk all the way back to the stronghold, I actually did set up my nether portal to be a lot quicker than traveling the 2,000 blocks to get there. So we would just go inside and then uh, we just go to the village, which is not that far away. Right now, we're just going to try and see if we can find a few more diamonds, and uh, we should be good. Okay, it looks like that's continuing going up. That's where I mined uh, from the direction I came from the strip mine. But, uh, so we just go down here. This is where, uh, the start of it was, and then, and this is where the strip mine was, right over here. Right there is the strip mine. I just sat, heard all this lava, and it called me. So this is where I was continuing. This is the strip mine. Imagine it'd just be diamonds just right there. That would have been so hilarious. But with this pickaxe... Pretty darn quick. There have been a couple times when I've been strip mining off camera, and I have found diamonds. Just I skipped right over past them because they were on the floor or the ceiling. I just didn't even notice. So we're just gonna continue on for just a little bit longer. I think we'll go into our till uh, that stack gives up. There we go, got some lapis. I'm not using fortune on the lapis because I have so much of it. So it's not really any point. Okay, uh, that should be... Oh, I still have room? Okay. We're going to go until we run out of uh, space. Once we run out of space, then we'll head back. Oh, I hear an enderman. I'm just going to ignore him for right now. Okay, now we're officially full. 
Okay, let's head back now. Okay. <laughs> something there, okay. Maybe something to look forward to next time. Uh, nah. So we're just gonna head all the way back. Let's be a little quicker if we just, uh... There was a ravine there that I passed by. Nice, nice area here. All this is pretty much new. So, gone for quite a bit of distance. And it's just a straight hole down there. Oh, it's nighttime. I was actually out during the nighttime to see if I can try and find a, a zombie villager. Because I, I want to cure another one. Because I need to get uh, Unbreaking on one of their one of the on an enchanted book so I can actually enchant some of the stuff that I can't there's a zombie in golden armor I'm gonna try and go for him I'll take all that gunpowder. And I think with the zombie in armor, I don't think it'll despawn, so... That hurt. There goes my boots. You dropped your pants. That's free gold. Alright, looks like we won't get another zombie villager. Oh well. You had leather boots on. Where are you, buddy? Hehehehe. <laughs> I've been actually using the crossbow, and it's actually really nice. And it's starting to rain. It's been really lagging quite a bit. So, I'm not sure why, why it's lagging today, just, I don't know, it's just a little weird. Okay, I don't need this, 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 that. We're just going to drop our stuff off, and we should be good. So we're going to put this in the blast furnace. Okay, and we're actually going to do enchant. Now, since we got all these diamonds, we just do this, grab those, and then let's make, uh, I need to make a diamond helmet because I need unbreaking on it. There it is, unbreaking three. Ooh! That is very nice! So the only difference is re really this doesn't have a breaking, but it's got protection and it's just missing Aqua Infinity. I'm just going to make another helmet just because you never can have too many. And that's fire protection. I'm breaking two. Eh, yeah, it's no biggie. We got the. We can make this into protection four, and then just have the respiration. We just won't have the aqua infinity, which is pretty easy to get. Uh, technically, sometimes it's even just a level one enchantment, so that's not that bad. Uh, what we need to do, though, is put some of this stuff away. 
the redstone in there. Uh, we need to start trading some of this stuff. Uh, I was able to find some slimes down there, which I was pretty surprised about. Put the gravel there. Put that there. That's almost done. We'll have that in no time. And these arrows, we can actually start. Uh, we can actually start stacking arrows. Wait, what is this helmet that I got? I think it's fire protection. Oh no, this is Aqua Infinity. Okay, then we just combine those two and get protection four. Then we're good. Because I know where I can get protection four. Grab some of those. Grab some of these. Grab some of that gold. Oh my god, how perfect is that? What's up, man? You got it? Nope, it's not you. It's you. Thorns, loyalty, protection three. Thank you. You guys might notice, but I'm not doing the uh, that uh, thing anymore, of where I'm doing that that complete exploit. Or that well, not really exploit. It's just like a really cheap way of doing it. But uh, it's just it's this much easier. So we got this. On breaking three, protection four, respiration, aqua infinity. Protection four, on breaking three. Uh, the thing I'm just missing on that is just Death Strider. And we can just put this uh, right in here. Actually, we can just put the regular diamond armor. Because I'll put that in there. Oh boy! That was excellent. Uh, we need to put our gold away, which we have a lot of. We're going to take all these emeralds because I really want to see what we can get from this guy that in there. We've got our books. Uh, I think I might be able to... Oh, I don't have to. So put that in there. Ah. Hmm. Make sure we have that. We're going to put that in there. Put that in there. Have that set up. Uh, what else do we need? Uh, uh, I don't think we really need anything else. Uh, I don't think anything. Uh, where's my uh, food? Okay, I have sugar cane. I don't really have a lot of paper, though. So, uh, let's, uh, mine some sugar cane. I might actually extend that just so I can, uh, so I can just get more paper at a time. right there. I'm sure it's a little more, but if we plant 52 more... There we go. Now we got that going. 
We got food and everything, so let's head out off to the village. I can show you uh, what is new there, and also maybe a little update on the uh, stronghold that I can show you. I know I don't have really that much armor on, but uh, in fact, there's even armor at the stronghold, so I can even just do the, just get it there. So here's my little uh, way of how I get there. This is a lot of pigmen. There's some nether rack I dropped, so basically, uh, this is where I gotta go. Just go right through here, this little uh, area. It wasn't actually that far, it was only 200 blocks, but the thing is, though, is that it was in the middle of, like, a one of these things that you just see that just... Which, I've never actually seen, like, a portal spawn before, but it's fine. As long as I can get there nice and quickly, that's alright. All this netherrack I just didn't have room for, uh, so I'll just pick it up for right now. And there's my other nether portal. As you can see, I picked up lots of netherrack. So we're at the dungeon. Let us go over here, because I believe it's up here. Yep. Get that uh, little bug out. Still raining out. Now I believe it's this way. It's not that far away, but... It is still a little bit of a walk, but it's a lot faster than traveling just by uh, feet because of like all like the uh, terrain and everything. But once we get there, I guarantee you, it's going to be worth it. We just got to make sure he does not die because he has one of the most important enchantment books you can get. There's the village. So as you can see, not that far away. Just a little bit of a walk. We are going to have to sleep though, because I don't want to take any risk of him being killed. And there was a, and there was a reason, like I said, the I had to place a bed, town, bed down into the uh, building in order for it to, uh, to recognize, to uh, get the villager to spawn, so... Just gotta know that uh, you do need beds in order for it to work. Make it nice in daytime. There he is, my man. I see you have what I want. So just give me a second. I'm gonna get all my emeralds out. And we are just gonna fill this treasure to the max. Why do I have my crossbow out? Put that away. Now, I'm sure it's pretty decently it's expensive. Yeah, 22. I mean, that's not so bad. I forgot to get my books. Alright, let's do business. There it is. Just give me all... The mending uh, books you can. Uh, 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 we might be wa wasting a lot of our emeralds, but we are getting as many of these as we can. And he's already gave us a little bit of a discount. So what do we got? Three books for an emerald. Or a single emerald for lantern. That levels in a lot barely. So the books are not that bad. Yeah, it actually will give me 18 emeralds instead of that. Okay, well. 
I think we'll just do uh, one more for now. Oh, there you go. He's out. But he's going to restock any second by the looks of it. So we're going to put all these in here. Put those in here. There we go, and yep, he is restocked. Well, thank you very much, brother. I will see you soon. And as you can see, just like that, we're stacked up on mending books. I did use a lot, and I mean a lot of my emeralds to get them all, but hey. I want all the mending books I can because now I can add that all to my armor and Bob's your uncle, that is very good. So I think uh, I'll start putting it on some of my stuff. I don't know how much it's going to cost me to put it on, but put on my stuff, but uh, I'm sure it won't be too expensive. In fact, I don't even want to put it on my armor, at least just yet, because uh, when I go defeat the Ender Dragon, I want to at least get all the XP to my uh, to myself and not uh, to my weapons and everything, just to repair them. Like something like a, uh, maybe even something putting the mending on the gold stuff might not that be bit that bad. Just like the pickaxe I have. Even though it's probably going to trigger some people that it's just like, you're putting it on a gold pickaxe? Like, why? And I'm just going to say, why not? 4, 11, 16, 21. So it's just right over here. Yep, I see a torches. Gonna have to find a desert because I, I want to make cyan, uh, a cyan uh, die, but I need cactus. I need cactus in order to do it. So, I'm gonna have that's gonna be something I'm gonna have to do. I just put that right there. This is definitely one of the best looking uh, strongholds I've ever seen. It's just so unique. So, if I can remember, I believe I went over this way. There's a spider there. Hey, Mr. Spider, how are you doing? And there's apparently a mine shaft over here, which I did not even see. Now, I did not get uh, any of the loot, and because I wanted to wait for you guys. So we got golden apples, we got bread. I did take out a couple spawners. Because, you know, that's just going to be annoying. So, we're just going to explore here for a little bit. Here's uh, one of the spawners I took out. I'm very sure that chest uh, was another one I did not uh, collect. Yep. Got another golden apple, some activator ray rails. And there we go. And hello. Easy peasy. It's nothing like just 
playing Minecraft and finding some just amazing loot. What? What in the world? Is this because we're underneath the, the flower forest? Oh, don't want to break that. Uh, I need my coal, so... I need my fortune pickaxe, pickaxe out in a second. How's the plants surviving down here? There's no sunlight. Well, you're bound to see something new in Minecraft almost every single time. Okay, we're nowhere close to diamond level. But we are close to chess. Alright, what do we got? Enchanted book. Oh, he found a mending check enchan enchanting book anyways. <laughs> I'll actually take the beetroot seeds because I don't think I actually have any yet. Another thing I have to do when I get home is actually uh, extend my garden. Uh, how tall are we? No, we're not low enough. If that ravine was lower down uh, into the earth, then I would consider... Uh, Trying to see if I can find something. Is it Enderman above? Don't really want to deal with him right now. There's a lot of good stuff here. Another golden apple, more tracks. Avoid the, uh... Avoid the, uh, detector rails. All right, good for setting off TNT. Okay, that wasn't so bad. All right, so here's some coal. I'm gonna need it. I don't really need my fortune pickaxe for right now. Just need to get some coal just for torches because there's a lot, and I mean a lot, to find. So how far are we at? 30. <laughs> We're not getting any closer to diamonds. We are finding more chests though, which are which I do don't mind uh, finding. Another golden apple, more. Those melon seeds. Uh, I'll take the pumpkin seeds rather than the uh, rather than the uh, bones because I just have so many of them at home. It's not even funny. There's lava just right above me. We got a little flower. That's actually really neat that uh. When being below one of these things, if you just come across dirt like that, you'll actually run into these flowers. That's pretty cool. Okay, we'll do that. Get that out of the way. I don't really have good armor on. I mean, my armor is almost toast, so... Need to just be careful and being around lava now. Yep, that's it, that's it. Take me down. Take me down to diamond level. 23, we're almost there. And this is where our thing ends. Just above diamond level. That's why I like the mine shafts better when they're just so close to the... L below the earth, because that's when all you find all the diamonds. There's something over there. No, nothing here. Take a little bit of damage. No, no, not really that. Doesn't really hurt that much. Alright. 
What's next? Got an area down here. Hello, creepers. How you doing? Oh, God. There's a lot of good stuff here. I think there's a yep, random torch there. Alright, so we got this way. Jeez. Such a big mine shaft. So far we've just been unlucky with uh in terms of uh loot. Well, not really unlucky, because uh we did find like a mending book, and if we didn't find the villager, that would have been really significant. Ooh, yes, torches. Give me all the torches. You have just almost a stack of rails just by collecting them from my from minecart chests. Okay, there's nothing here. I think I saw another uh, chest right there. I oh, guess I didn't. Another area right there. I'm glad I'm finding torches in the chest in these chests. Saves me from uh Oh, what was that? That thing was whatever that was walking, that was moving really slow. Okay, you got this area down here. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. More unexplored area and some gold. Oh, that's worth it. Name tag. Alright, uh, what can I get rid of? Ten netherrack? Get out of here. Alright, I'm gonna have to go into my files and delete that screenshot, because, uh, that was not intentional. I'm gonna do F3, but my finger slipped. Alright, that's done out there. Hello, Mr. Bat, how you doing? Still lots of uh, area to explore here. At least I also wrote down the, where the portal is, so I don't have a hard time getting lost, but it's probably still going to be tricky to find my way back. Alright, we got another zombie. Well, lots of water down here. 29. Oh, yeah. This is what I wanted to find. Yeah, promising, promising. This is probably where the zombie is. Okay, that leads back here. Ooh, that leads to new areas. Hey, zombie, how you doing? Nice sunny day, right? This is definitely a new area. Okay, maybe not, because I see torches everywhere. Kind of weird how this is mine, like, kind of like looks like it's mined out a little bit. So, how far does this go? 25? Yep, yeah, looks like it. Hey, you're trapped in there. I'll free you. for the XP. More creepers. Oh, two creepers? Here, get in a line. That is so handy. Because then when the when you, the arrow gets to the end, 
it goes right through them and you can just pick it back up. So basically, like, unless you hit, like, I think four, uh, four, uh, at mobs, the arrow won't disappear. Which is really helpful. Load that back up. Thanks to quick charge, this is much easier to reload. Okay, here's, uh, oh, this is back to where I was. Okay, I haven't been here then. Oh, I've been down there. This is diamond level for sure. I Have I been back here? Hey, baby zombies. Thanks for the free XP. Yeah, do I have room? Yeah, I do. Give me that lapis. Give me some diamonds. That would be really awesome. Give me some more gold. I'll take it. Again, brand new area. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's a nine piece. It's always nice to find a nine. Nine pieces of gold in one uh, mining session. Well, one vein, let's say. Oh, hello. As long as you don't push me in lava, I'll be okay. That's dangerous. So like I said, I don't have a lot of protection in terms of fire damage. Okay, nothing there. Alright. This can be dangerous. Hey, how you doing? Yep, right there. Oh, you're trapped. Lots of water. Anything else? Well, layer 19, so we're close. Not too close, though. Okay. Okay. Anything else over here? It doesn't look like it. Uh, we do have layer 13 over here. Alright. Should be able to fit it all. There we go. Let me just fill that up. There we go. Look around. Okay, don't see any. Unfortunately, no uh, diamonds in that. Sometimes I just mine around like this, because you never know, you might get lucky. Looks like no, nothing here. You never know, it could be the difference of one block where you just might get lucky. But just when you're digging around like something like that, and then you find a diamond just by mining one of the blocks, you just feel so good about yourself just saying like, oh, it's a good thing I mined that. Still some uh, mobs. Uh, mobs exploring around. Okay, this is back up here. Oh, 
so it'll be a... It's definitely something above here. This mob's up here. Oh yes, there is. Blow up creeper. Uh, where's my blocks? If I can just get one more, and now block that. Wow, that was like a triple, including the bat. Sorry, bat. Uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Get another stack. There we go. Reload that bad boy. <laughs> the crossbow is actually really good, especially when you get quick charge on it, and then you can just fire it really fast. I still need one more rank of quick charge in order to get the uh, max. Okay, so that's back down here. Alright, so uh, let's start heading back. I thought there was gold there. It's level 25. Okay, here's the uh, stronghold. That's, that would be quite a... That would be quite a jump. Alright, let's see. We find our way back. Oh, that's jail. We don't want to be in jail. Oh, really? Well, if we find those chests that we know... ...and we know are here, then, uh... ...he gets free armor. Oh my god, there's so many. Where's the button? Okay. There's a creeper there, I don't really want to deal with him. Scared me a little bit. Come on. Should be able to find our way back. I mean, okay, here's a here's a recognizable part. It's where I got the obsidian. Oh, I think we're starting to make our way back. I definitely think one of the ways is up. Yes. Where are you, buddy? Once I push that block down. those arrows. That's the advantage with this crossbow is just it doesn't consume the arrow if it just goes right through them. You can just pick it back up. Compared to a bow, when you do hit them, you do use the arrow because uh, it hits them and, you know, does the damage. But 
with this crossbow and just goes right through them. And then, just nice and easy, just pick it up. Oh, jeez. Here you go. Just making sure, uh... No, they're still for spawned in, but it looks like they did not. I want to get rid of some stuff. Let's pick that stuff up. Okay, we're good. Let's head on back. Ah, oh, missed him. Give me that XP. And just to show you guys, I did not actually, uh fill the portal in yet, just still has that one uh, thing right there. So right now we're just going to head back. You're up. <sighs> it's a good thing I have Flynn Snow on me. I did not even put it back in the chest. I put the crossbow back in the chest. Alright, let's head back. That was stupid. Alright, so let's head back. Uh, put some mending on some of these these items and uh, we should be good. That would actually be, this is actually going to be really exciting. Well, one of the things I try to do with the, the crossbow is I try to put power on it. But you can't, you can't put power on it unfortunately. Even doing some research it just, it won't do it. And that really does suck. Alright, let's head back home. It's almost night time again. Ever since, oh, also ever since that, uh, one like the raid and everything like that. I haven't had the pillagers to spawn back here since, so I'm kind of glad that that's not we didn't have to face that challenge again, even though I am more ready this time. Cuz technically, right now my armor is ready. My armor is ready to go. So what we're going to do, we're just going to put some of these stone back. Uh we need the gold uh Put that netherrack in. We might, I might actually just cook this all down. Get some nice, uh, get some, uh, things going. Tracks, uh, we can put that there, put that there. We can go to the cleric and trade all that rotten flesh. We can use this to put in there. Got so many, uh, golden apples. Got some of that. Where's my treasure? This is mainly my treasure chest. Okay, so then we have that, we have that, and we have the mending book, but then we have all these mending books. I even have my other bow in there just in case. Okay, I definitely need to put some torches over here because, uh, One right there, and one right there. Alright, there we go. So, let's start putting some mending on. Uh, this is not my god bow, but it's a really nice bow. Uh, I think having one of these on will actually be very nice. Uh... I mean, we can try the sword to start with. That'll cost 17 to apply. That'll cost 9. 
Oh my god, that is expensive. That only costs three. Uh, I would think I actually want it on my fortune pick because this is a very important one. Yeah, three. All right, now we don't have to worry about that ever breaking. Uh, can we put it on the shield? Just curious. We can. Oh, that's actually really cool. I think I'll actually make a new shield though because this one's pretty done. So let's actually uh, let's build a new shield. Might actually put even a banner on it. And another thing is though, I want to put a banner on it before I do. So we'll just combine that with that, even though it's a little bit of a waste. Then I think to to finish it off, let's let's make a banner. Because I want to put it on the shield. So I believe it's like this. And you go like this. Yep, white banner. So you do that, I believe. Because I know you could do it basically like that. White shield. Uh, let me try putting on a die. If I Let's try blue die. So we put that in here. Oh, no, no, no. Put this in here. This in here. So it would be just like that. Okay. Ooh, that's cool. Okay, sort of got an idea. Oh, there's a... There's a... That's a flag for Newfoundland. I don't think I can make a Canadian flag, but... We'll see how it goes. Uh, do I even have a red die? No, I'll have to get a rose. Oh, I do. I can't switch it to that. Uh, hmm. I'll have to figure it out. But uh, I think I'm going to call that an episode, guys. Uh, honestly, quite a bit done. Nice amount of uh, things. Got all the mending books, so we don't have to worry about get our shortage of mending for a while. Thanks to that one villager. So we should be good. Uh, I'm just going to probably do a couple stuff off, cam off camera. Uh, maybe within the next episode or two, we'll go for the Ender Dragon. Because we have our armor. We've got mainly our stuff that we need to take it on. So I just need to make some potions. And I think next episode, we'll prepare for the Ender Dragon fight. Uh, just before we head off, though, I want to see if is there's one more thing. Is there a zombie villager anywhere in the vicinity? I don't think so. Make sure I don't miss that shot. Okay. Alright, well, uh, better luck next time. But, uh, yeah. Anyways, guys, uh, I just want to say thank you so much for watching. And by next episode, we'll prepare for the Ender Dragon fight, and then the second episode after that, and then the episode after that, we'll go for the Ender Dragon. This will be fun. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching. Sorry it was a little longer episode, but uh, I had to get stuff done. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!